Today we're going to look at something that can be quite useful when you're managing a project with a series of assets. And one of the things that tends to happen uh, in these situations in touch is that um, if you're going to bring in pictures or movie files, um, typically the way that touch works is that um, you can see here the, um, the path to the file and by default touch has already created an expression for you and that is an expression that shows you that it just happens to have a path towards um, a hard-coded path towards a folder within the touch designers application folder uh, which is the app folder and inside of there there is a, a samples folder and um, and there you will be able to find uh, in the map slash banana dot tiff so what we're going to try to do is create the equivalent of this except for a folder of our own choice and um, the advantage of that is that that means that every time you want to point to a a file that is within that folder um, all you need to do is type in the sort of shortcut, and then you can go straight to the name of the file. And there are many uses for that. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you two ways that this is done, and then we can talk about um, how we can refine that and how useful it can be. So um, let's put this guy to the side for now. And the first way to do it um, is to create what you call a local variable. And a local variable is essentially a variable that's going to work within a component. So right now we're inside of project one. Um, if you go up a level here, you can see that um, there's actually a local component for the entire um, for the entire project. And then you have project one, but this is just a container. Um, you could have project two, project three, project four, and typically we work inside of project one and create containers inside of project one, but in essence, project one is, is a container. So if I go inside of project one and I, and I create a, uh, a new container, so I'm just going to go to the comp section, create a container inside of here. It doesn't have to be a container. Uh, actually, it's probably better if it's a base, because a base is a type of container, except that it doesn't have any sort of fancy interaction. Um, and actually, one thing that's really important is that you have to call this local. And that way, Touch knows that it stores um, data related to this container. And then we can go and we can create a table. And this table is going to have to have um, two columns. So we're going to add a column after. And I, I, I make the viewer active to be able to have access to these uh, column and row controls. And the first one. The first, uh, the first column is going to be uh, uh, the name of the variable. And in this case, let's say I want to call it path one, right? This is going to be my main path. And then um, I want to go to uh, the folder here that I have, where I have my videos. And I'm actually just pointing for now to this folder that's um, you know generic on Windows, where there are sample videos. And I'm going to just click on this little icon and it's going to give me the path. So I'm going to control C, come in here, single bracket or double brackets, doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. Now I have a path, right? Now, um, this is something where I'm a little bit unsure uh, why it is this way, but to make this work, you have to create an evaluate dat. And the evaluate dat um, it's going to be called the variables and then this you can call it whatever you want but we'll call it set variables um, and um, it's going to give us an error um, and there's somehow there seems to be an issue here um, so let's So um, I actually had to go in and make a change. And, and this is something that is somewhat odd. Um, 
uh, touch was having a hard time with the uh, backslash which is the uh, you know the um, the windows way of typing paths and uh, and I haven't had this problem before I'm not sure why it would do this but if you just change it to um, the Unix style slash which is the forward slash um, it works so now we have um, this variables dat and we have it's called path one right so now um, if I go back to uh, my folder where I had this video right and it's just called wildlife.wmv so now the way that I actually refer to this is that I just type in var, var open parentheses path one and then I basically what this is going to give me is the whole path to that folder right and I'm going to basically type the rest of the path and that is going to be I'm going to type plus because I'm essentially concatenating a piece of a string to the path and it's wildlife.wmb and this is probably going to give us an error and let's look at it um, and I can see where the error is immediately and I kind of left this thing on purpose because it's an interesting thing to, to, to let let it bite you and, and then you kind of remember so if you look at the path that's been sort of expanded here from this expression so it goes to public videos sample videos but then there's a, there's actually no slash here and the reason why is that I didn't put a slash at the end of this so I can or put a slash here or I can go in here and I can say plus slash and that'll work but it seems like in every case I'm going to want this slash so instead of putting it there I'm going to go ahead and put it here. so basically what you can see is that now all I need to do is type in this var path one and then let's say that I had uh, you know wildlife one, wildlife two, wildlife three, wildlife four etc etc then um, I could just copy and paste this and then all I would need to do is just add one number here um, and if let's say that I were to uh, move my entire folder to a different place then the advantage is that all I need to do is change this path and that will basically reconnect everything so it's basically like a shortcut that um, is really useful mostly when you're sharing uh, projects with other people um, you know they have their copy of the folder with the videos or the assets in one part of their computer and then they send you the project back you have all your assets on a different folder um, so it's pretty helpful to be able to just change the shortcut once um, so another way to do this which is actually following the exact same logic is that if you look here um, at the level of project one there is a local folder here and this local folder is basically what you call a root variable meaning it's at the root of the entire touch designer session okay so let's look at how we do that how do we create a variable that is at the root and that works for the entire project and I'd just like to quickly say that I learned this technique by watching uh, the great um, Mary Frank touch designer tutorial series on FX PhD which I um, highly recommend um, so the way that we do this is that we just essentially create a text that this text that is going to have a very one simple one line uh, expression that is as follows so we're going to type root set var and we're going to have let's say path 2 and then we're going to put the path of the folder that we've been using so just to be sure that I still have it in my pasteboard I am going to put it in here and remember to put a closing slash now I think we're gonna have the same problem as what we had previously with the local variable um, to see if this is the case once you've written this you're gonna wanna run script and uh, because if you don't if you don't do that touch doesn't know that it has to actually do anything with what you just typed here 
nothing's paying attention to this little text box. So you have to run script. So you, you just right click, run script. Now, if you do this, it says syntax error. End of line, uh, I think that's end of line or EDL. I'm not exactly sure what that error means, but my guess is that if we fix this and put a Unix style path, which is essentially how touch internally will convert any Windows path, it should work. And if anybody um, wants to comment on this video or um, tell me why it is that this would not work, um, I would be most grateful. And then if I run scripts, um, I actually cheated and I, I tested this earlier, but if you can, you see that basically what we had before was path one. Path one is the variable that we set over here, path one. But if I go in here and I use path two, which is the name of this variable, it works as well. And it doesn't have the dashed line because it's not referring to a specific uh, operator that's setting this variable. It's essentially now become part of the entire session. And if I go up here and I look at my local, my local uh, uh, container that has all the variables that are across all the root variables, you can see that here is my path to. So this is the way to do a, a, a variable that's going to work across the entire project. In some cases, it might be more useful to have it like this. In other cases, it might be more useful to have a variable on the container level. But this shows you both ways. And please feel free to ask any questions, uh, make any comments on um, the YouTube comments or on the forums. Thank you very much.